Welcome back to Ubad's lab and today I'm going to be turning my uh, copper sulfate that I made back into copper metal because I can. Alright, I gotta uh, start off by showing off my new lab coat here. Uh, it was actually a birthday present from my brother. Uh, it's pretty nice. It has my, uh, my channel name, my name, and an American flag. Uh, it's pretty, and uh, you guys will definitely be seeing more of this in the future. Uh, anyways, let's get into the video now. Uh, so we're going to be doing this reaction right here. Um, uh, aluminum solid plus copper sulfate. And we're going to be dissolving that in distilled water to make an aqueous solution. And then those will react and form copper uh, metal solid, which will precipitate out of solution. And aluminum sulfate uh, aqueous, which will be dissolved in solution. So the copper metal has a dark kind of reddish color to it, kind of brown. And we can filter that out and uh, probably store it. And it'll definitely be useful for future videos. We can use that copper uh, metal to uh, make future copper complexes, with some more copper salts. You guys know I like uh, making a lot of copper salts on my channel here. All right, and the equipment for this uh, experiment includes some copper sulfate. And we actually made some of this in one of my uh, previous videos. So if you're interested in seeing that, uh, the link will be down in the description. So you can follow along, make the copper sulfate on your own. And then you can come back to this video. if. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to do go around this route, actually, because to make the copper sulfate, you, uh, you need copper metal, and now we're turning the copper sulfate back into copper metal, so we're just going in a cycle, but, you know, it's fun, so we do it. All right, next we need uh, distilled water. Um, that's what we're going to be dissolving the copper sulfate into to make an aqueous solution. And then we need aluminum foil, which will act as their uh, aluminum metal, one of our reactants, and potassium chloride. So potassium chloride will be acting as sort of a catalyst because of the extra chloride ions. That uh, So flooding that reaction with chloride ions speeds up the reaction. And um, I'm just using potassium chloride because I have a lot lying around from previous uh, experiments. But you can use NaCl, which is sodium chloride, just normal table salt. All right, I've got my uh, distilled water out here and my clastro rod and a tiny beaker because I don't have that much copper sulfate to spare. So we're going to be doing this reaction at a pretty small scale. All right, and here is my copper sulfate. I'm going to get a little bit out here and into the solution to make our aqueous solution of copper sulfate. I think that is a, I think that's a fair amount. Well, maybe just a tad more. Okay. And now I'm just gonna close up. There's some alarms going off right now. All right. And copper sulfate does take some time to uh, dissolve in solution. So we're gonna have to mix this around a decent amount. And break down these little clumps at the bottom. There we go. And I'm going to have to keep on stirring this until we get a nice aqueous solution. Alright. I think that's a, a decent amount of stirring most of it has dissolved let me make that focus in on there okay it was not focused sorry about that okay and now 
I'm going to add my aluminum like that there we go that should give you guys a good view on what's going on and as you can see the reaction is not starting because this reaction actually does take some time and I'm gonna speed it up by adding some of my potassium chloride which will act as a catalyst there we go I think we added a decent amount of that and I'm gonna stir it around a bit and hopefully this reaction will get started Okay, we have a bit of fizzing. And okay, I can see the aluminum foil is turning a dark red, uh, a dark reddish brown. And that is our copper metal actually forming. Look at that. Very nice. And let's let this sit a bit. I'm gonna try to push all of this aluminum foil in there there we go the aluminum foil is already starting to get brittle and breaking apart look at that We're getting a decent amount of copper metal forming. This reaction is turning out great. And now we can see our aluminum sulfate actually dissolving in solution. Because we're seeing a shift from the bluish color to a, a darker color. And the aluminum has completely uh, been destroyed and broken up into a powder consisting of some unreacted aluminum and a lot of copper metal wow this turned out really great all right i'm gonna let this reaction settle down a bit uh check back in with you guys to do the filtration process and we'll uh isolate our uh copper uh metal oh let me get, give you guys a quick look at the at the top of this yeah a lot of copper metal floating right to the top so uh, we'll get right into the filtration after this all right I've got my filter paper and funnel out here now and I'm gonna start by filtering this out and trying to isolate the copper metal let's pour off all of that liquid here There we go. Alright, and this will filter out. And I'll uh, check back in with you guys once this is uh, all passed through the filter paper. And uh, we'll start drying it out. Alright, the solution is uh, basically done filtering out now. So I'm going to transfer our precipitated copper metal onto another uh, filter paper. And you guys will get a good look at it. And it'll get a better better opportunity to dry and I have uh, all right, one second there it is just 
plopped right out there. Let me see if I can get any of the leftovers out as well. All right. And I have uh, my filter paper pinned down with my uh, potassium chloride and a beaker because it is quite windy today. And I'm going to spread out all of this copper metal. It came out really nice, a nice red color. There is uh, some unreacted aluminum mixed in there though, but it's really nice. All right, and that right there is our final product of copper metal. So basically we turned uh, copper metal into copper sulfate and now we turn the copper sulfate back into copper metal because we can. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I post some pretty cool chemistry related things there and I host some live videos once in a while. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.